I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. The reality of marriage dawns very slowly, very, very slowly. Most of what you see in the beginning will metamorphose. In fact, most of the pronouncements you hear might not be too correct with pressure. The family that prays together stays together. I've seen prayer warriors, two prayer warriors married to each other and their marriages have failed. So face reality. When you face the reality that marriage is a challenging institution that you need to learn and readjust daily, then your marriage can be sustainable no matter how unusual it is. Arrow number two, apart from reality, it is a marriage, marriage is responsibility, responsibility. That's what most people are not ready to face. It is responsibility, responsibility towards each other, responsibility towards God, responsibility towards society, and responsibility towards yourselves, and responsibility to yourself. You must be a responsible person. I don't owe, I don't beg, uh, because I respect myself, I'm a responsible person. I don't do adultery because I'm a responsible person to myself first. So, responsibility. The next thing is the relationship. Relationship, the way two people connect. Our parents, particularly our mothers, understood the connection between a husband and a wife, between, a, the, between herself and her children, between herself and her in-laws. And because they dwelt in a communal setup, her, her relationship between the com herself and the community. Once you realize this, the next arrow comes in respect. Respect. Respect is to have consideration for people's feelings and ideas. This is a heartless generation. This is a selfish generation. This is a rude generation. This is a crude generation. If you don't have regard for idea, for other people's ideas, other people's feelings, you cannot remain in a relationship. You will be a narcissist. The next thing is that it should be for the release of potentials. When you marry somebody, you should bring out the best in that person. And the person should contribute in bringing out the best in you. It's a relationship, it's, it's a the release of potentials. Then you need to know the next are roles and your rights. You must identify the roles you are supposed to play and the rights that are accruable to you. The roles might vary from marriage to marriage and the rights might vary from marriage to marriage. There is no single formula that works in all marriages. There are only general principles. The last arrow is romance. It's the oil that lubricates marriage. It is the fuel that carries marriage for a long distance. So put these things in mind and don't be carried away by the modern teachings of today. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you. Send a message to me on plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three. You will have the real estate lecture online on the 9th of March by 7 p.m. Nigerian time. Send a message to plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three. And we will send you the flyer. God bless you.